I am heading to work today and I'll be honest I'm actually really looking forward to getting away from the chaos of moving house just for a couple of hours I've got two property jobs today I don't think they're going to be easy jobs but just having a break from moving boxes and running up and down flights of stairs is going to be welcome today. Right, I've just arrived at the first property and it is drizzling, which might affect my ability to take a front photo. So I'll have to improvise and cross that bridge when we get to it. There's not a lot I can do because I've got to get the job done today. So yeah, let's crack on. Man, this kitchen is absolutely beautiful. I remember a few weeks ago I did this job and I said, I don't know why I do it anymore. But this is the opposite. This is why I do this job. Because you get to cool house, come to cool houses like this. How awesome is that? Just when you've got a kitchen like this with so many beautiful bright surfaces and great lighting and obviously nice and clean. There's just so many photos you can take of this of this room. It's just we have to take we have to take another seven or eight. We usually take one. Love this kitchen. It's a cool glossy paint. I love it. Nice lounge. Just an all-round really cool house. So a general little rule really for property photography. Um, shut windows, just checking all the external windows are shut. Oh, the bathroom's open. So I'll have to go and do that. And turn lights on, especially in kitchens and lounges, you can really get lovely ambient light as well as some of that directional fancy lights, especially in kitchens, you know, you've got LEDs that run along counter surfaces, that sort of thing. Uh, bedrooms normally have some quite cool lights and if you stop the aperture right down to well whatever your uh, uh, lens will allow mine's 2.8 um, you can really suck in all that light so starting to drizzle so I better get on with this garden but what a house this is just a dream for property photographers it's so easy to do this sort of job so easy and the vendor is absolutely on the money with moving. She knows exactly what she has to do to make the photos look good. And that's what you want to hear as an estate agent or as a photographer. That seemed to go really well. That was an absolutely, just a beautiful place to photograph. You know, probably is under 500 grand, 400 grand, 400 grand really. So it's not a millionaire mansion, but the point was it's so, so well presented. And when you work with a, a vendor who's willing to just go the extra mile to make sure that their house is so clean. It makes everyone's job so much easier. It really builds up the rapport and the relationship with the client. And it's just, it's just brilliant. It really is a really class act when people present their home in such a magnificent way. But anyway, so now it's off to the second one. Second one, me and the agent, I've got the keys for it. So, so, can take a little bit of time if needed but I must say how muggy it is today it's August just after August bank holiday where the UK has received record temperatures for this time of year and ah oh, feel like I'm in the blooming Amazon jungle it's so it must be a 99% humidity today so warm but anyway, let's hope that this job goes nice and easily and then I can shoot off back to the new house to meet Laura and we can carry on getting the new house ready.
So I thought that this second house would be nice and small, but it looks like it's another big one. I, mean, I don't mind the big ones for the uh, for the photos. It's just the floor plan. It's just a little bit tricky for the floor plan. Okay, right. Let's get this second one done then, shall we? What was do? BBC Two. What was do? Yes, I am listening to Tom Jones. Just got a Spotify playlist, it's the best of Wales. So what's gonna come on next? Oh, big tune, Feeder. Right, so I'm just gonna give you a quick look round of this house that I'm just doing now. This is an empty house. So it's nice and easy to photograph. I'll probably just, for example, in this room, I'll probably just shoot it like that and I'll miss out to save moving all that rubbish. And this, this wardrobe can't be closed. So I'll probably just shoot it like that. So there's the bedroom just showed you. Another bedroom there, nice and empty. Ladder, oh, it's not Friday the 13th, is it? And another bedroom, nice and empty. It's the bathroom, which is purple. Very weird colour. Maybe they're Aston Villa fans. Claret. All Scunthorpe United. Here's the lounge. Let me get some lights on. This little sombrero there, that's pretty cool actually. Look at that. This is a bit, I feel a bit like, what's that programme through the keyhole? Um, who would live in a house like this? Well, if that's what the kids are driving, what are the adults driving? Here's the kitchen, you get these lights on. And this is strange. Dining room. Right, so nice and easy. Okay, just finished. And, hang on, let me just turn the best of Wales off. Right, so I'm all finished. I've done my floor plan, done my photos. And in quite a good time, actually. I didn't expect to be able to do a house this big this quickly. But just before I go, there's just one quick thing that I've got to do. I'm too big, so I have to sort. But I think I better go now before I have, before I write it off. Righty tighty. Right then, time to head back. Oh, got my angle slightly wrong there. Oopsie daisy. Right, so that was the second job of the day done and that was a nice and easy one as well. Lovely that there was no pressure, there was no vendor there so I could just, you know, I could just do it at my own pace really, which was really nice. 
So, now I've got to nip back to the estate agent, give him the floor plan, give him back the keys. Gotta get home to Laura because we've got the aerial man coming and this is what happens when you grow up. You have to get aerials fitted. I don't like growing up, I don't like being an adult. I much prefer driving Ferraris around people's living rooms. Honey, I'm home. It's Laura, get on the vlog everybody! Show me what you've built today. Laura Kidd, the DIY specialist. That's really good. Well done. Look at this. Laura Kidd has been hard at work. Look at that. She's got the wine rack sorted. Good job. Good job. I bought, I bought some cookies. Look at your face. You never do that face when I walk into a room. But when I walk into a room with cookies... They look yummy. Yeah, they do look yummy. Right guys, you know what? I'm going to end the vlog here. I have got to edit these photos in the next... Well, a couple of hours really. I've got the, the aerial man's not been yet, no? No. Obviously not. So I've got the aerial man coming any minute now. Well, since two o'clock and it's now four, so hopefully he's going to come soon anyway, but that's beside the point. So we are, I'm going to be vlogging sort of erratically for the next couple of days, I don't know, but that's irrelevant because by the time you're watching this, I'll be back to doing daily uploads until I catch up. So thanks for watching folks, like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, and I will see you later. Bye!